Do you need an easy to install backsplash idea that won't go over your budget? By the end of this video, I have four easy suggestions to help you install that backsplash, plus my buying checklist that's gonna help you stay on budget and decide which backsplash is going in your new kitchen. For the best budget-friendly home improvement advice where we help you save more so that you can do more, subscribe below and hit that button so that you can be reminded when we post a video every Thursday. So before we jump into the four things that I'm gonna to suggest to you, I wanna first just define easy. So in my opinion, when it comes to an easy backsplash idea, it's one that takes less than a day, takes minimal tools, and it really, a few hours of your time. So as we talk about these ideas and suggestions, keep that in mind. Okay, so let's dive in. The first one that's easy to install and really doesn't even take installation, just maybe application, and that's to use a high gloss paint as a backsplash. This is really cool because you can get any color that you want. You can get it customized at your local paint store. And once it goes on, you can do a couple things to it to kind of make it your own. And it's pretty easy. You can use stencils, you can use uh, different colored specialty paints to add onto it like a metallic or a glitter. As you can see, I used metallic paint on our paneling, which we'll talk about next. But I think paint is a great way that if you're looking for an inexpensive kitchen backsplash, and sometimes it can just kind of allow you to get maybe a couple of months of looking at your backsplash to decide what you really want to spend your money on. Suggestion number two for an inexpensive backsplash is using four by eight sheets of paneling. Paneling can come in an already colored decor or you can paint it yourself. I chose to do this as our backsplash because I was looking for an inexpensive backsplash idea and it was one that I could also customize to my kitchen. I used brad nails, glue, and a saw plus a level just to make sure the bricks were definitely straight up. But this is a great inexpensive solution to wanting a backsplash. Comment below if you are planning to do this inexpensive backsplash as a DIY project. I wanna hear your thoughts below, please. Suggestion number three is one that I haven't done, but as I was researching different ones to do, I thought it was a really great idea, and I'll try to link below to some people who actually do a how-to tutorial, and that is using foil from the Dollar General store. All you need is a pair of scissors and something flat, like a sponge or something that you can rub against the wall to make sure that the foil contacts the back of your wall. I thought this was a great inexpensive solution to wanting a backsplash. It came with several patterns and you could definitely do this within a day. Suggestion number four is a peel and stick tile project. I really wish I would have found this a couple years ago when I was doing some of the, some of the projects that I have done because I think it's a really in between. You don't have quite the expense and the difficulty of doing a traditional tile, but yet you still get that quality of the stone or the metal that they have going on now at your local big box store. I just saw one at the end cap. It was a little expensive, I will say that, but less expensive in the traditional sense because you didn't have to do the grout and the mortar in order to do the tile. So that's a peel and stick on the high end. There is also a peel and stick that you can buy in a box at one of your bargain stores where you could actually cut it with scissors. And I thought this was a great solution for somebody who maybe just wants a backsplash that you don't wanna spend a lot of money on, but yet you wanna cover up one of those ugly walls that you have. There are two peel and stick solutions and that is our fourth suggestion. Now that you have some great suggestions to do your inexpensive kitchen backsplash, I have a checklist below in the description box. Make sure you download that because it's not just gonna help you stay on budget, but it's gonna help you track what kind of material is going to be best for your kitchen renovation. Check out these videos next on our budget-friendly home renovations and make sure that if you know somebody who's either starting a renovation or in the middle of them, we would like to join them in their journey. So share this or subscribe below if you're doing a home renovation because we want to go on that journey with you.